The Gifted and Talented program of San Angelo ISD is designed to meet the needs of those students who are identified as having superior intellectual abilities or potential for outstanding academic achievement. Students are nominated, evaluated, and placed in the GT program based on guidelines set forth by the Texas Education Code. In SASD right now we have over 500 students identified as gifted. We screen all kindergartners in January um, and then after that if a parent or a teacher thinks that they have a child that shows gifted tendencies we retest in November and in uh, late April early May. Um, all you have to do is go to your counselor, your school counselor, and they will initiate the process through us to get your child on that list. SAISD's GT program serves students from the 1st through the 12th grade. They can either go to the magnet school and elementary school. We have 1st, 2nd, and 3rd at Fort Concho, 4th and 5th graders at Santa Rita where they are in at Fort Concho, all their classes are self-contained gifted classes. At Santa Rita, they're mixed classes with students who are not identified as gifted and then gifted students with a very high concentration of gifted students in, in each class. When they go into secondary, they are served uh, in our pre-AP classes all the way from sixth grade then through 12th grade. To maintain their gifted identification, they must be in at least one pre-AP classroom. Teachers who provide instruction and services that are part of the GT program must complete special training in order to meet the unique instructional needs of GT students. Every teacher that teaches gifted students um, has to have 30 hours of state mandated uh, staff development and then they have to have six hour updates every year that they serve gifted students. I also might add that not all of our elementary students go to magnet schools and so if they choose to stay on their home campuses uh, they are allowed to do that and then their teachers have to have gifted certification in order to help meet their needs on their home campuses. Students in the GT program demonstrate skills in self-directed learning, thinking, research, and communication as evidenced by the development of innovative products and performances that reflect individuality and creativity. By and large, they study the same curriculum. I mean, they have the same TEKS. They have to still master the same tax test. But uh, because they move much, quick, much more quickly through the curriculum, they're able to have opportunities for more enrichment. And so, especially at the elementary level, there's more enrichment opportunity, um, hopefully more chances to explore things that they're interested in, to work at a much higher level. Obviously, at the secondary level, as they move into pre-AP and AP classes, their curriculum is, again, um, by and large, the same as regular level classes, but much more accelerated with much more emphasis on what we call pre-AP, AP skills, um, real co uh, intense college preparatory work. One of the primary goals of the GT program is to reinforce the strengths, needs, and interests of gifted and talented students by providing a continuum of learning options. To supplement classroom learning, students are given the opportunity each year to participate in the annual TRICE competition. TRICE, which stands for Texas Research Institute for Young Scholars, gives students the opportunity to find solutions to real global issues. Teams are given a topic to research and must develop a hypothesis and a plan of action. Students must implement their plan, collect data, and prepare an oral presentation based on their research. Uh, we announce the topic at the beginning of the school year and groups begin to form. Um, at the elementary level, uh, we had two ways of doing it. First of all, at the elementary level, uh, first graders, second graders, third graders have to be gifted students. And they uh, work either in their classrooms at Fort Concho in the Magnet School, or this year we hired uh, Miss Laurie Dawson, who uh, went and uh, worked, uh, she spent one, one day a week at Fort Concho, one day a week at Santa Rita, and we actually kind of reinitiated a pullout program so that our identified gifted students at the non-magnet schools were 
bused to either Fort Concho or Santa Rita, where they spent a morning or an afternoon once a week working on the project. The secondary level, or actually at the fourth and fifth level, grade level at Santa Rita, <laughs> since their classes are not purely GT classes, any child uh, that was in class with the, in these classes with GT students was able to participate in the TRIAS project. And likewise at the secondary level, they worked with teachers um, in a particular subject area and it was for gifted and then also pre-AP students uh, that were in those gifted classes could participate. In the spring, students first compete in a preliminary competition. Finalists then present their projects before a panel of distinguished judges. Some of the many benefits students gain from participation in the TRICE program include the development of team building, research, and presentation skills. They learn, obviously, the most obvious, I suppose, is research skills, uh, to do research both online and offline. They have to work with the mentor. That's a very important component of the project. And so they learn to develop interview questions and to work with the mentor to take guidance and to go and do what the mentor has suggested and then to come back. Um, they also have to have an implementation phase. And so uh, we saw some wonderful community um, involvement uh, this year, uh, whether it was food drives, book drives. One of our groups went out and uh, figured out how to save uh, money on the electric bill at Fort Concho. Uh, all kinds of marvelous things because they must have an implementation phase. How can they make a difference with the topic that they chose? There's just a uh, myriad of wonderful things that they learn. I think one of the most valuable is presentation skills. They learn poise. They learn to sell their ideas, to sell themselves. And I think that's probably, in my estimation, one of the most important things that they learn. It is the goal of San Angelo ISD to provide opportunities within the educational program for each student to develop to the fullest of his or her capacity. The district strives to meet the unique needs of gifted students and prepare them to deal with the challenges of a rapidly changing society. If you have any questions regarding the SAISD Gifted and Talented Program, please contact Terry Phillips at 947-3838, extension 726, or visit www.saisd.org slash gt.